Hey guys, I'm Hitesh Arwa from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering and today I'm presenting my technical seminar on Renewable Energy Integration into Cloud and IoT based Smart Agriculture. These are the contents, the introduction, abstract, literature survey, what is IoT, why we use IoT, how we implement IoT in agriculture, the methodology, implementation, conclusion, results and references. Introduction Water is an essential element for sustaining life on earth and it is used by human beings for a variety of purposes including industry, sanitation and irrigation. In recent decades, the amount of water withdrawn for human use has increased significantly with agriculture being the largest user, accounting for 69% of annual water withdrawals. However, due to inadequate irrigation control systems, a significant amount of this water is wasted. By promoting efficient irrigation practices, we can help make agriculture a more productive and sustainable sector capable of driving economic growth, reducing poverty and supporting rural communities. This presentation will introduce a cost-effective solution for a smart agriculture using a cyber physical system CPS approach. The system relies on four main technologies to ensure efficient and sustainable farming practices. A wireless sensors network WSN for real-time monitoring of plant environmental conditions. A wireless actuators network WAN for controlling electric appliances such as water pumps and light bulbs. A cloud-based IoT platform for real-time data storage, processing and visualization. A fuzzy logic control for automated irrigation control. Water, water is becoming scarcer. The unmonitored control and extensive use of fossil fuel in water table pumping for irrigation exacerbate global warming and harm the environment. Optimal usage of water table and energy is becoming a must and indispensable for sustainable agriculture. Commercial solutions are costly and thus become impossible to adopt by small and medium farmers. Smart water metering promotes optimal usage and conservation of water table via real-time data collection and monitoring using a cloud-based IoT system. Renewable energy integration promotes energy-efficient agriculture by reducing the reliance on fossil fuels in water table pumping. Smart irrigation to promote good quality crops and quantity without harming the soil and water table ecosystem. This solution has been deployed and tested in a real-world smart farm testbed. The results have shown that the adoption of our SA system reduces the amount of water consumption by up to 71.8%. The literature survey. Smart irrigation system using IoT. This paper has some drawbacks such as advanced technologies were not used in this system. Topic IoT agriculture in smart agriculture. The drawbacks it involved manual work. Topic, an IoT based 6LO WPAN enabled experiment for water management. This has the drawback that it cannot directly communicate with web based devices and web servers or browsers. Paper, a low power IoT network for smart agriculture. This has the drawback that it is less efficient and slow. What is IoT? IoT is short for Internet of Things. Internet of Things is inter networking of physical devices. This system has ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. Why we use IoT? IoT has many applications in agriculture, smart cities, smart home, healthcare, business section, traffic monitoring, transport, logistics, etc. This is a growing trend that will influence everything from businesses to our daily personal lives. Hence, we are primarily concentrating on agriculture because it is essential to the growth of the economy of our nation. How do we implement IoT in agriculture? Today, India ranks second in the world's farm output. 64% of cultivated land depends on monsoon. Irrigation accounts for 55-75% to of water usage in India. Nearly 60% of the water used in irrigation is wasted. Applications of IoT in agriculture are crop water management, pest management, food production and safety, etc. 
what is the methodology cyber physical system cps are among the most powerful of these modern systems and smart agriculture is a cps cps refers to systems that ideally, ideally integrate software and hardware components to perform precise tasks a formal definition states cyber physical system is defined as transformative technologies for managing interconnected systems between its physical assets and computational capabilities as a cps it replaces the traditional agricultural system with a smart and modern one that provides accurate agricultural management by collecting and processing data related to the plant weather soil in real time mode using precise control methods wireless sensor networks wsn allows for real time monitoring of environmental parameters in agriculture enabling farmers to make data driven decisions for optimal crop growth and yield wsn technology is a cost effective and easy to deploy making it accessible for small and large scale farmers alike the data collected by wsn can be processed and analyzed using various data analytic techniques such as machine learning to derive insights and make accurate predictions wsn enables remote monitoring reducing the need for physical inspections and increasing efficiency the use of wsn in agriculture promotes sustainability by optimizing water and energy usage minimizing wastage and reducing the environmental impact of farming practices wsn technology is continuously evolving and ongoing research and development are focused on improving the reliability accuracy of sensor nodes expanding the scope of sensors used and enhancing the communication protocols for efficient data transmission for example switching on or off water pumps and drip irrigation motors the number of iot connected devices in 2015 to 2025 this chart shows that there is a significant increase in the number of iot devices which are connected to the net internet this increase also allows us to implement iot in agriculture implementation our proposed system is designed to help farmers optimize their farming operations by automating the irrigation and lighting systems using data collected from wireless sensors placed in the environment here is what each of the seven elements does data acquisition this element uses a wireless network of sensors to collect data about the environment like temperature humidity soil moisture levels etc and sends it to a central hub second part the big data analytics platform bdap this element is like the brain of the system it uses algorithms to analyze the data collected by the sensors and decides when to turn on or off the irrigation and lighting systems to ensure the plants are getting the right amount of water and light third one wireless actuator network wan this element is responsible for carrying out the decisions made by the bdap it consists of actuators that can turn on or off the water pumps and light bulbs wirelessly fourth one renewable energy this element uses solar panels to generate electricity to power the system fifth storage unit this element stores extra electrical energy produced by the solar panels and reuses it when needed to operate the water pumps and lighting six control unit this element decides whether to use the electricity produced by the solar panels right away or store it in the batteries for future use seventh cluster controller this element collects and filters data related to the smart grid and sends it to a cloud based iot platform in real time mode this is the general diagram the wireless sensor networks and the farmer data and the weather data is stored in a big data platform the actuators are used to perform the actions by using the cloud based iot platform 
the actuators actuate the water pumps, light bulbs, etc., which are essential for the plants based on the data. The solar panels on the left side and the control unit, cluster controller and storage are all used to power the motors, lights and actuators. Conclusion and Result This paper discusses the development, deployment and results of an open source smart agriculture system that leverages up-to-date ICT to optimize water consumption, reduce energy usage and improve crop yield. The system uses IoT devices for data acquisition and control, cloud computing for data processing, visualization and storage and fuzzy logic to implement a fuzzy irrigation control unit that decides on appropriate irrigation duration based on real-time data. The solution is cost-effective and reduces water and energy consumption by up to 71.8% compared to traditional irrigation systems, making it promising for deployment in several farms in the region to collect big re data real-time about water table usage and deprive, derive appropriate irrigation strategies. Future work includes enhancing solar energy production and storage, integrating LORA wireless sensors and actuators network and developing a machine learning system that predicts soil, moisture, energy production and consumption to adapt to different crop requirements and improve crop yield. Smart Agriculture Real World Deployment The solar panels power the smart farm, the drip irrigation and uh, all the wireless sensors. The water level sensors and the pumps are underground and supply the water for the plants based on the soil moisture average and temperature. References Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Organization, Green Morocco Plan, Climate Change, Water and Food Security by H. Turrell, J. Brook, J. M. Foss and others. Smart Agriculture as a Cyber Physical System, a Real World Deployment by E. T. Taibi, M. R. Abid and I. Bohmidi. Node Red High Performance Computing for Big Data on Cloud Opportunities and Challenges by MR Abid Big Data Deep Learning Challenges and Perspectives by W. Chen and X. Lin Thank you